Hello, 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 and welcome once again. So, uh, we got a couple that we can level up. We got Gator here, and we're just going to look at some of the, the additional bonuses, because as you go higher, you get more and more things unlocked. Uh, I don't remember where you unlock everything at, but I know after the first skill is where uh, you get like the called shot bonus and 25 view distance here. And we are pushing for sensor lock here. Uh, that's really what we need next. Uh, not by a small margin either. Honestly, before I get sensor log, maybe getting getting a little bit of gunnery might not be the worst idea on Gator. But uh, 25 view distance, I don't care. Indirect fire penalty, that depends upon if you really have some missile boats or if you have a, a uh, kind of like, you really like missile boats. Negative 45 to the minimum distance, so you can, you know, really get in closer and not be outside of your uh, optimal firing distance. So the the minimum range and I would say the called shot are quite good. The other two, uh, one's it's all right. And I guess view distance on this little guy that I'm running out in front of everybody, it's good for now. We'll see how it translates later into the game. Uh, we also have Glitch here who is going for... Uh, so what you find here is that you get an increase to your base weapon hit. We already knew that. A slight range increase, which actually could be quite good, especially if you have some long-range weapons, or a lot of really medium-range weapons as well. Uh, but after the uh, the uh, multi-target, you do get a recoil penalty, which I already have on Big Slide. I didn't mention that earlier, but uh, yeah, we, we do have that. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, I don't know why I did that. I actually wanted to go down for piloting on her. That was a mistake. Uh I don't remember. I think this uh, gets a. It increases the uh, heat capacity until you start overheating and you start taking your overheat checks. If I remember correctly. Uh, although I, I could be off on that. And uh, this one. Uh, it's. Uh, let's see. Negative to the stability damage, unsteady threshold, base melee hit chance. Oh, yeah, plus one maximum evasion. So if you're still using very, very large engines on even bigger mechs, you can still run fairly far and still get that evasion up farther because you're not going to be capped. Like, I'm pretty sure that the Venom I have probably might be able to cross eight. I mean, it's run a Fusion Core 275 in that little thing. I'm fairly certain it can get more than four pips just hauling uh, full out sprint because we're seeing that I'm basically capping just barely outside of my movement distance. So I think it could definitely stand to get one, maybe even two more. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. We just I kind of wanted to point out that those you do continue to get new things in there, and as you get past that first skill set, there's usually some pretty good goodies inside there. So we have an ambush convoy. Um, we have an Assassinate, which uh, we're probably looking at a heavy mech inside there. And honestly, a Defend Base, uh, this one might be outside of what I can do. I just don't know if I have the firepower for it. Honestly, I'm beginning to really question all of those Flamers on the Shadowhawk. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes, though. Uh, we are going to do the Ambush Convoy. Unfortunately, my Shadowhawk's much slower than it should be, but this should be normally... Outside of the Cicada, should be a very fast-moving uh, force overall. It, it's only about half now, because the Shadowhawk is not really that fast. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go forth. It shouldn't be too much of a problem now. I really, after I travel, would like, uh, like the ability to... Uh, while I'm traveling to maybe get the, the upgrade there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to push for the 718 here. It's going to give me a little less salvage. Uh, I still get one piece, and there probably should be some heavy mechs here. Uh, but overall, I'm not I'm not too concerned. This will essentially uh, pay for my upcoming uh, change of month, and then it should allow me to get, I think, the new uh, berthing for my, for my crew overall. Which I'll probably do again once I start traveling. We're not really going to worry about it too much here. 
All right, so let's go ahead and figure out where everybody goes. You go there. Gator goes here. Of course, my A and B group is a little mixed up right here because for some reason, some of them were still fatigued. And we get uh, Decker. No. Oh, both of my... Uh... Oh, no, that's right. That's right. I'm just used to having my light over here. Uh, I'm doing things a little different than I normally do. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and deploy. And this will basically even out when I get... Uh, when I start heading to the new planet, because everybody will be fresh and ready to go. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of upgrades I want, and I, I think I want more pilots, because I don't think it will be too hard for me to get a second lance up and running, which means I, I just need more pilots. Uh, all eight of my pilots are basically just rotating at this point in order to just pilot one lance. So uh, kind of like a hot seat there. Uh, the convoys, I usually don't have too much of a problem with them, but I am kind of careful depending upon my lance composition as to whether I really like to take the lance, uh, the ambush convoys. I've had some where I've had really, really slow lances, and it, it's just almost impossible. I think I had a wasp or a... Might have even been a spider, and... Uh, the poor spider, it just had to kill like the last two vehicles because they were just outrunning everything else I had. And I think it might have been... I don't remember what I even had. I'm pretty sure it was it was a Steiner playthrough, so I'm pretty sure I had the Gauss Rifle Hunchback, the, the Swayback. So, and I'm not even sure that would be the Swayback. I know the Swayback's definitely the AC-20. Gauss Rifle's just about as heavy. I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still sway back. Alright, so we're still in a bit of a hot biome, and that's what I'm a little afraid of. Because I know one of the maps for the convoys is really terrible. Wait, wait, wait. Stop convoy from escaping. The convoy's right here already? Are you kidding? They're not even back up over here? Oh, man, that is... Orders. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna reserve back here and just try to figure out what they're doing. So, primary target on a lot of the convoys, though, is take out the... Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go to start it. They probably are right about here somewhere. That's, that's right. Uh, the thing is, if I chase up this direction, I'd rather just be in the front road. I, I know going up behind them, you can get the easier shots and stuff like that. Uh, I don't want to do that. I got a road right here, and then I just get in front of them, and if they want to pass me, I just smash them with overwhelming firepower. I am wondering where I'm going to kind of put my cicada. Maybe you try to get it right on the, the ridge there. I don't know if that's going to be possible. <laughs> aye, aye. That, that poor cicada, that's... Aye. Cicadas are like uh, generally, you know... Oh, I should have moved the shadow. Well, I don't think that would have really helped because the uh, Vindicator still would have been blocking. Uh, cicada is essentially a light mech that's a medium. They have terrible armor, but they're very fast and they're not terribly good with their weaponry. Uh, looks like this cicada, honestly, is a, built a little bit different. It didn't have much armor still, but it's not. It's traded some of its engine capacity for. Uh, really? Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. It's a, I'm not saying that it's a bad cicada because I actually kind of like it for a cicada. Having, having a light, if I'm going to have any light, and again, cicada kind of like a light. Uh, it's like range support where it's not really getting into it too much. I'm fine with that. 
I'm really fine with that. Oh, and it looks like we are shoddy. What's that? Negative 50%, I think. I forget all of the names. Yeah, 50%. So ramshackle, shoddy, and then yep, there's there's another version too. I don't remember it though. I mean, do I take the shot? <sighs> if I hit, I, I just cripple it. And, yeah, probably shouldn't have... The, the recoil's just kind of a problem, honestly. The heat, as long as I'm just firing that, not maybe the worst thing in the world? Receiving you. Ooh, is that worth it for the 215s? I don't know, Glitch, can you... Can you get shots anywhere else? Uh, yeah. That looks like the, the better shot, though. Oh, I sh should have tried to get the tag up first. I think we take the slightly worse shots so that I can get both guns going with the cicada. Uh -huh. I, I'd really like to tag this thing. Fortunately, I'm a moron. And I forgot to use the tag first. So, there we go. 20s and 39s. Uh, again, though, it's just a, just a fire starter, not a ton on it. Okay. Structure exposed. Honestly, we just kill whatever comes to us. Uh, make sure the vehicles go down, though. If, if it wants to run, I'm, I'm fine with that. I can see that. We're not we're not too worried though. Just go ahead and reserve. You can see if those vehicles will move up a little bit. There they go. And they're gonna try to take the venom and they're just not gonna be able to hit it. <laughs> That's the thing about having this much evasion. That's why I was looking at that one gyro earlier, the uh the one ultra I think it was an ultralight gyro. I'm just like, oh no, maximum one evasion and stuff. I'm like, uh Okay, so this is part of the convoy here. Alright, so let's, uh... Yeah, there's no way down in there if I get, uh, I get into that position, though. So we're going to get as close... Well... Then do I block the Vindicator, because that's just a small road. I'd have to go all the way around, which is not... Yeah, that's, uh... Commander? Just out of curiosity, what do we got here? Um, yeah, we ignore those. That's that's part of the escorts. The escorts are... Sometimes vehicles, sometimes mechs, though. So this stinks. No tag, no bonus to hit here, but... Uh, we are going to go ahead and just with the PPC, because we're, we're running pretty hot, but we're going to be meleeing with this guy a lot. Just if we happen to hit there, even if I didn't kill it, Gator should be able to follow up uh, fairly well. So Glitch, we're not going to quite get the maximum distance, because I do want to try to get the tag on here. Ooh, I can get some medium lasers going too. Is it worth it though? Um, 17s, uh, let's go ahead and turn off the 12s. That'll put me at heat neutral here, honestly, so not a big deal. Wow, you really missed right there. And then I can just keep sweeping around. I can fire and sweep around. Having uh, Ace Pilot is just so good. I like to have the hit chance, the better hit chances first, but... Engine destroyed. Good stuff. Uh, do I really kind of go crazy like Super Saiyan with, uh... I mean, that thing didn't hardly move at all, and I can get right in its back right there. Look at that. It's a Wolverine. Oh, I don't have any Wolverines yet. It's a nice medium. What has what this one got? Two SRM6s, large, large, medium, and small pulse. This is, uh. Is this the one you start with with, uh. 
Uh, Draco's Combine, I believe. I think that might be the 7K. Hmm. I mean, that's a slightly better hit chance, and I've still got all my evasion. I'll probably have to move right at the beginning of next turn. Uh, but if we can maybe open this thing up, do some damage, maybe an ammo explosion, that would be great. Forgot to look. What does it have in the center in it there? Anything good? Two eighty fusion core. Ooh, actually, I kind of, I actually really want a two eighty fusion core. Oh, why did I go shooting that? Um, I should have checked that first. That two eighty is what I need for my shadow hawk. A two seventy five is what was in it. A uh, two eighty would be perfectly fine. So we're not going to get a, a round of fire this turn with the uh, Venom, but I, I would kind of like to cool down a little bit, so I think we're just going to come... Is there any way I can just peek around the corner? Maybe take a shot at that uh, that fire starter there with just like a weapon? Not really, but if they go ahead and shoot me here, I still got good evasion, so I'm fine with that. I'd rather my Venom don't take, doesn't take too much of a beating. And uh, we're going to try to save that Wolverine. Unfortunately, it is kind of dangerous. So I don't know how that's going to work out. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but a 280 is definitely what I need. And I've only got one more mission after this. I believe in assassination. So I'll be fighting a heavy. Uh, we're going to reserve. Let the vehicles come on forward. Because that's what I need to take out first are the vehicles. Don't care. So once I take out the vehicles, uh, if the vehicles escape, then I'm, I'm in trouble. Hmm, all those pulses, is, is that going to be too much? Of, that thing's going to run fairly hot, though. Maybe, oh, I wish I had taken the back shot on it. I'm receiving you. Uh, da -dun -da -dun -da -da. Okay. I mean, honestly, I think we just bring the Vindicator up. That's 82. I mean, the Gorgon, it's still not going to even kill it. I think we do it more from the... Well, do I just go for the backside? I do not. We're going to hope to not hit the front and then just be able to flank with the other, the other mechs here. That thing's got a lot of armor. Honestly, Thunderbolt, Tag, Plasma Cannon. Oh, come on, hit that same side. Ugh, we're just hit it all. So we did hit the side, though. I think I can line some side shots up now. So I think we're, I we're pretty safe on getting that one off the board. Unfortunately, you are not terribly a accurate or fast right now. Well, I guess you're not bad with your accuracy. I mean, I need two to hit. Uh, we're going to take off the LRM. Uh, the Cicada is not going to be able to get a good angle on it. It'll be able to get an angle next turn, though, if it, get, if it makes it past. Really? So, oof, 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 oof. Oh, it looks like we can get an angle here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for some multi-target. We're going to mark that as A. We're going to back up because I can't tell what is what here. That's the Wolverine, which I don't want to shoot. That's the Spider. That's the Fire Starter. I mean, stepping on that with my Vindicator, it would be a kill if I hit it, so that's probably the better option here. So let's go A, then we'll go B. We're going to back that up. 
we're going to go for the easier to hit, already damaged fire starter here. So A's, really I just need to basically spit on A, and we're just going to take a shot at B just in case. Um, as long as one of these hits the side, it's gone, so we're going to hope for that. There we go. So that's 50% of the convoy down. Oh, Plasma Torch crit. Good stuff. I think I hit something good. And then we even have the uh, Ace Pilot. Just get a move. Keep keep getting the good angles there. Get a little closer for the optimal firing range. Watch my six. Uh, really? System's holding. Am I, am I crazy? Was there a Vindicator there before that I just didn't notice? Oh, is that that's the fire starter? Okay, that's what I thought. Like, what the hell is the game saying here? I don't, I don't understand this. It's not making any sense. Um, whoops. Do I think I could get behind and open the spider up? It does have three evasion right now. But it's got so little rear armor. All I need is just a couple hits and maybe take the engine or something out. Yeah, I think we go for it. Try, try to get the spider. Uh, I have other things that are closer to really handle the... Uh, the fire starter there. And the Vindicator is going to continue taking care of vehicles. Pretty decent hit chances with everything I have on it. It gives me the Cicada and the Shadowhawk to uh, to take out the uh, fire starter here. Well, that was actually a pretty decent little volley there. What are you, Scorpion? Yeah, you're pretty easy to kill too. So, uh, get bent. <laughs> That's only a 77% chance. To, what's, what is it from behind? 87? I think we have to go for the... No, I think I think we go to the far side here. I think we do. Or, excuse me, the front side. A little less chance to hit, but... I mean, two 70s, I would expect one of them to hit, and if not, I can always leave the fire starter alone. It's annoying... Oof. You're kind of a pain in the butt up there, guy. Waiting for orders. Orders? I mean, we just we just try to wreck the fire starter right here. I'm hoping I can cripple it and let my uh Shadowhawk do something else. Ooh, we knocked it down though. That would be a great time to Get a bunch of hits in there. And then again, we just, just keep spinning on around. Just like a little top. Unfortunately, I do have a pretty small engine, I think, in that. What size engine does that skater have? It's It's got to be fairly tiny. 170, yeah. Oof. Was that leg orange numbers I saw? I believe it was. Yeah, so we're going to try to overheat. Uh, what can I do for you? And I'll, I'll take that out with my Venom here. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the game plan here. So we're going to try to shut this Wolverine down. You betcha. And get some tags and stuff on it too. I mean, that thing's way overheating at this point. I do got to start worrying about that leg. After I take this out, I may have to just pull the Vindicator back, and it's going to take some time to fix that, unfortunately. That's, uh, that's a better amount of evasion, so let's go for that. And let's just uh, chop that little thing into pieces. Oh, that had an ultralight gyro in it? Yeah, I'd rather have the fusion core right now. Gotta focus on one thing at a time. 
This is kind of a timed mission here. Are you still moving around? I thought you were dead. Took a hard hit there. I know, because you have no armor left on that leg. What's up, boss? Just out of curiosity, you are, you do have a side angle. If we get a little closer, is that going to increase? No. I mean, I really, really need that. Uh, let's uh, let's make sure we take out the convoy first. Falcon! We do want to move a little bit just to keep some evasion up here. I mean, yeah, I get one from movement, and then three from the NSS, and another one from the ECM. Uh, Guardian ECM, I believe. And this will be the end of the convoy right here. Yeah, shut up. Uh, we've taken out... Oh, this is part of the, uh... Okay, head hit. That's, uh, that's unfortunate, but it's not part of my A-team. Uh, glitch. I think that while this thing is, like, uh, pretty much overheating... Go ahead and take a side shot on it. And hopefully we'll get some damage into the leg there. And really just overheat is what we're trying to do here. Mech shutdown, so I don't have to take the negatives to my, my hit chance. Okay, and it powered up, but it's got no evasion now. So... Dang it. Well, that's unfortunate that it did power up there. Um, hmm. If I move forward, can I can I just get a slightly better? No. No, you cannot. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna try to take the leg out on this thing, and that'll. Ugh. Unfortunately, we're doing some good damage to that torso, which uh, is not something I want to do. I wish I hadn't attacked the back of it. Okay, the spider's running. Uh, gator. Go fetch. Um, hmm. Let's just, uh, let's... We need to cool down, so we'll just, uh, we'll take a back attack along with the two arc welders. That'll let me cool most of the way down. There we go. Good stuff. Alright, now they get to move with their vehicle, unfortunately. I would like to smash it before it got to go, but it's not going to happen. Uh, no more orange numbers for the leg. That's good. No more headshots. Kill it. All right, Decker, Decker, Decker. Um, we've already got an offensive push in. I need 17 damage. Oh, 25, though. If, if several of these miss... How much was it? I need... 17 damage in. So the lights... Okay, that will that will ensure unless both go off target and hit there that I just take the leg out. Oh, fusion core crit. Uh please, I don't I don't know if that destroys it if I crit it. I think because it's damaged it is gone though. We're we're still gonna try as if that is not the case, but I, I'm pretty sure that fusion core is gone now. Uh, you know what? Let's let's reserve back, and then we're gonna reserve back and let it stand up. And then I just want to try to overheat it. It's gonna take some shots. Good. A mm, little more damage than I was hoping for there. 
But I got to get on the other side here and start trying to heat it up and take that leg down. Oh, really? Waiting for orders. Okay, but this will shut it down right here. Or it should, as long as I don't miss with a bunch of things. Right, now, hopefully I can take that out without blowing up the rest of the mech. Uh, you've got a couple mediums on you. Oh, wait, it's Gator's turn. I mean, I can get the angle here. Fortunately, that is open. 82%. Oh, yeah, better called shots, because I, I do have... Uh, the tactician, I'm past, one past tactician now. Uh, so 82s, that's good. I, I want to fire everything here. I, I'm pretty sure it was crit, and I don't even know. There may have been some more damage dealt to it there. When something gets crit, you have to repair it yourself after the battle. So I'm thinking if you crit something, you just don't have it. Uh... I'm really, really got my hands together. I'm, you know, really hoping, you know, give me the 280 fusion engine. But uh, I'm not very hopeful here. Uh, 846, though, that, I need mean, 900,000 is what I need for uh, the, the upgrade for more pilots. And then I actually have to probably start kind of putting some money away towards... Oh, 280 is here. Beautiful. And hopefully the double heat sinks are not a... I, I, hopefully I get another double heat sink conversion kit when I take that engine off, because this does need double heat sinks. I will say that. Uh, but that will save me six spaces. I could put the ultralight engine on there then, and we've got some room to play. It's, it's suddenly very fast. Um, plus one slot? What do, you, what do you mean, plus one slot? I don't know. Anyways. Oh, I think it may take an extra slot because of the size of the engine. That would make a lot of sense. So we're just going to take a quick little peek and uh, see what's going on. I'm not going to start changing stuff around till I actually fly to the next system, though. I want to just keep doing battle after battle after battle, because I will have like 20 days where I'm heading to a brand new system, uh, and that would be the time where I really want to begin shifting uh, money into, or time in, I guess money, because time is kind of money here, because you do have to pay for your... Uh, Various things here. I have no idea what else I got. I guess I should have been paying a little more attention. Maybe it was good. Maybe it was not. 12 days. Wow. So just not opening these things up from the back is actually kind of costing me a little bit. But I guess these are not mainly just battles either. So uh, let's go ahead and manage the task. We want the Vindicator first. I wish that the one that took the longest would automatically start first. And then if you wanted a particular setup or whatever, change it. So let's go ahead and uh, too many radishes. Purchase a greater variety of food. Um, exchange crops with the local farmers. Let's try that. I'm curious to see what happens. Um, Darius reports his progress. It's time that we plant it. A robust agriculture. I managed to exchange some of our current foodstuffs for a wider variety of fruits and vegetables. Not sure if it's important, but it's, if it's different. Um, Dr. Murat chuckles. Let us finish our contracts and leave the system before they eat the radishes. They may want their supplies back. Dr. Murat, I, I really... I, you're so stupid. So, so stupid. I just want to get through this real quick because I actually am going to take a quick peek at the, uh, I've got the, financial report. the Shadow Hawk here, so that's about right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna take a peek and see what this would free up here on the Shadow Hawk. So let's go ahead and refit. Normally I do this all between the turns and kind of make a decision, but I think I'm going to go make some dinner, so I kind of wanted to stop and check it first. So we need. Yeah, I haven't even put, like, the TTSs and stuff on. Uh, so we got, like, a uh, 280. 
Is that going to give me another kit? It doesn't say it does here. I wonder where I got that then. Okay, whatever. Um, that means that I pull off the couple of double heat sinks here, which allows me to throw on... Let's just switch tabs. It's faster. Uh, what? Oh, I guess the engines are here. Um, I got two XL engines. So that eats up most of my slots, but that gives me a ton and a half. I'm much faster at this point. I terrible at heat efficiency though. Hmm. <laughs> I think the jump jets come off. I probably need medium pulse lasers to eat up some of this. That's going to generate more heat though. Hmm. I'm just thinking a few double heat sinks might not be bad. I'm I'm thinking that double heat sink that's still going to be on that fusion core which kind of chaps me. I wish I had not done that now then. Anyways, uh we're not doing this for a while. Thanks for watching everybody and until next time.